All right, it is 645 right now. If you're not feeling well, it's nice to know right away if you've contracted COVID-19, right? But the rapid tests that give you results quickly are not always reliable. Why? Here's our why guy. Faster is not always better. If you want to fill your stomach quickly, you visit a fast food restaurant, but that's not where you want to take your date for the prom. When it comes to testing for COVID-19, a quick result may come at the expense of accuracy. So let's look at why the rapid tests are not as reliable. For travelers, countries all over the world are requiring a negative COVID test before you can enter. And now a few like Bermuda, Ireland, and Turkey are requiring the more reliable PCR tests. Results can take several days. The rapid or antigen test looks for proteins unique to the coronavirus. Results can come back as quickly as 15 minutes. The problem is that if you get a negative test, uh, it may still be positive, but you just didn't detect. The rapid test reacts to a swab taken from a patient, then changes color, indicating a positive or negative result. If there is a large amount of virus present, the rapid test will likely find it. Dr. Jose Cordero of the University of Georgia's College of Public Health says a PCR test is more involved. You're getting the sample. There has to be a process of extracting the RNA, but there are several processes and that all of them take time. Think of it this way. If you're searching for apples in a tree that's flush with fruit, you can have success with a quick search. If the apples are hidden at the top of the tree, a rapid search might conclude there are no apples to find. You need the work of the PCR test to take the time needed to locate what you're looking for. If you have symptoms of COVID-19 and a rapid test comes back negative, it's best to be sure by undergoing a more extensive PCR test.